All right, my best runner's advice, all right? If you truly want to win a MVP for cross country, you got to keep putting in the hard work and keep grinding, all right? You got to find the right pace that works for you, all right? If you find the right pace that works for you, that can help you win the MVP for the state championship, all right? If you keep grinding, the state championship is within your reach, all right? And that is how you're going to win the state championship if you're willing to put in the hard work, all right? And if you watch out for the second mile and pace in the beginning and first mile and the second mile and kick at the third mile, you have a chance to win the state championship in cross country, all right? For the state title, for the MVP. And that is how you're going to get MVP. You got to find the right pace that works for you. You got to pace that like 430 or 440 or 450 or like five flat or like 455 for your average pace or like 505 or like 515 or 510 or like 520 or 525. Those are all your pace. If someone is pushing the pace a little bit, you go with him, all right? You got to pick up the pace. If you pace at all those paces, what I just said before, like 510, 515, all that stuff, it will put you at around 510 or 512 for the first mile. And then it will get you at 12 minutes for the second mile, all right? You can outkick him in the third mile, all right? When you see that finish line, you need to kick, all right? In the third mile, you need to make your move in the third mile and kick, all right? And pull away and close the gap, all right? And that is how you're going to win the state championship and get MVP at the same time, all right? And that is my best runner's advice, all right, how to get a MVP, all right, and my best runner's advice is keep grinding and keep working on your breathing and uh, take your time, all right, use your strategy race plans, all right, don't race dumb, race smart, all right, let all the guys burn out in the beginning, in the race, all right? Let them all burn out. Because if you let them all burn out, you can have all the energy. And if you save all the energy, you can save it until at the end. When you save it at the end of the race, when it's over, then you can out kick him at the end, all right? In the third mile, all right? And then once you cross that finish line, you need to cross it. All right, when you kick, all right, you need to push harder. You got to earn it. You got to dig for it, all right? And that is how you're going to get MVP for cross country. And that is how you're going to become the state champion. And that is how you're going to win the state championship. You got to want it. I want you to say in your mind and say, I think I can do it, all right? And put your head in the shower and say to yourself in your mind and say, I think I can do it, all right? And listen to calm music while you're in the shower, all right? I want you to say that to yourself in the shower while you're putting your head in the shower with your head in the water and say, I think I can do it. And, and if you learn how to believe in yourself and don't listen to the haters, that is how you're going to win MVP. And that is how you're going to win the state championship. All right? And when you get to that third mile, it's going to get you at around 1350. And if you kick at 13 minutes, 0.50 seconds, no one is going to catch up to you. All right? 
because you are better than them, all right? That's the honest truth, all right? And you are faster than them. You've been running more miles than they have, all right? And that is the honest truth as a runner, all right? Take my advice for that, all right? And my best advice is don't let runners get inside your head, all right? If you let them get inside your head, they can get inside your head. When you're up front, you're the top threat. If you're in like 15th place in the beginning and, and you need to make your move in the second mile, you need to make your move. You need to go catch him, all right? And you need to outkick him, all right? In the third mile, you need to catch him bit by bit, all right? Just a little bit, all right? You need to pass everybody once you make your move, all right? This kid was all the way in 30th place in Nike Cross, and all the guys burn out. And he took the lead all the way from 30th to 1st. And that's how he became the Nike Cross champion, all right? And that is my best runner's advice, all right? See you and bye.